Hi, this is my fast charger from eWheels that I got with my M Super back in July time frame, I think. Uh, at the time, these were being provided free with the wheel if you bought it from uh, eWheels. Now I believe you have to purchase them. And uh, it stopped functioning a couple months ago. So this is what failed right here. These two leads, which have nothing attached to them, they used to be uh, part of a thermistor. One of these guys, NTC thermistor, and um, it disintegrated, heat damage over time. So how these things work, it, this is in line with the input power to the supply. And it's just a, think of it as a resistor that has a high resistance at low temperature. So when you turn on the power supply, initially it has a high resistance which reduces the surge currents into the power supply which protects the other components from wear and tear. And then as this heats up very rapidly, the resistance essentially goes to zero or I mean for all practical purposes. But it runs hot and this thing was rated, the one that came with this was rated at 5 amps and uh, this is a fast charger that's rated for 5 amps so it's you know it's really marginal. So I found some replacements about this these at Amazon and buy a pack of I think four or so and they're less than 10, 10 bucks and these are rated for 7 amps otherwise the same characteristics as the original one. So I'm just gonna remove these leads and solder in this new one and hopefully it'll be as better than new. Okay, so now that I removed the old leads, I need to insert uh, the new component. But before I do that, I have to remove the solder from the circuit board. Just to show some of you guys that might not be fam familiar with this simple tool, it's a solder remover. It's just a modified soldering iron that you heat up, you press the bulb, heat up the solder, let go, and it really nicely sucks up the solder. and. Uh, leaves a clean hole that you can insert the new component. Okay, I think I need a little better access from the other side. Pretty good. Okay, looks good. Maybe assembly time.
Okay, let's plug this in and see what happens. All right. 84 volts. Looking good. Let's charge up a wheel. All right, well, I just happen to have a Tesla here that needs a recharge, so let's give it a shot. And going, nice and charging up. One amp, and I'll just change the setting. So this is two amps, three, four, I can go to five, but I just, I actually run my fast charger at three amps. I'm not in a super hurry. If I ever do need it charged really fast, I, I can pump it up to four or five amps. All right. Okay, guys, well, if you happen to have an E-Wheels fast charger and it uh, self-destructs on you, I'm, most likely it's gonna be that component and uh, now you know how to fix it. It's pretty easy. I really think uh, it was a really sweet deal when, when um, E-Wheels was giving that, wheel, that uh, charger out with their new wheels, which I stopped doing. But uh, Jason, if you're watching this, I think, I think you should throw this guy in for new uh, wheels like the Tesla. Uh, it's, it's convenient to fast charge these guys up. All right, guys. Talk to you later.